Welcome to another random game on Shrinking. The game I have here today is called Realms of Arcadia 3, Shadows Over Riva. And this is the third game, and I believe the last, in the Realms of Arcadia series. Realms of Arcadia was originally created in Germany and uh, based on a German uh, paper and pencil role-playing game called The Dark Eye. In German, it's called uh, Das Schwarze Ege or something like that. Um, my German is, is worse than terrible, but it's Das Schwarze Ege, I think. <laughs> and anyway, this is a, sort of a, a first-person role-playing game with third-person combat. So when you navigate around, uh, you see this first-person view. Uh, you can see from the screenshot here, and you talk to people, etc., and then when you get into battle, it's like this th this third person isometric uh, view essentially, where you can micromanage the, the battle better. But yeah, this game, uh, this, this series, I guess, was somewhat underrated. I would think for an RPG series uh, created outside of the U.S., but it was published in the U.S. by Surtech, who of course are famous for their Wizardry series. This is the third third game, as I said. It looks like original shrink. You can see one of these. Uh, shrink holes over here that usually says it's original shrink. There's also over here a weird, like, cut in the box as if someone stuck a, I don't know, a compass pointed to it or a, there's a cigarette bird. It, the box is pretty solid and it feels like someone was drilled a hole in it. It's really weird. But, again, the shrink seems original. Looks like someone just damaged the box through the shrink. Let me try to open it up and see what's inside here. We've got some nice starting points to pull from. I don't need to even... Use a knife. It looks like this is another slip cover, is my guess. Just from the way it looks. I think I've seen boxes like this before from Surtech. So let's see if I can slide this off. Yeah, there we go. Hold on. And there's the underlying Surtech box. One thing interesting here is this this whole thing is a sticker. The the ESRB rating is a sticker, along with the system requirements. I'm not sure why that is, but I thought that was interesting. So let's see what's inside here. If I can get it open, the box is pretty tight. Ooh. Okay. Got a lot of stuff in here. What do we have? Ooh. Special offer. Order Surtex Hit Fantasy Adventure Fable and get the role-playing epic Wizardry Gold for five bucks. Or order Fable in any other Surtex game for only like ten dollars, except Shadows Over Revo, which <laughs> I guess you don't need that one since you have it already. But that's pretty cool. Those are both Fable's a pretty cool game, and Wizardry obviously is great. Uh, here's also an ad for a hint guide on the back. Then I have here a manual, which is really nice and big and honking. Table of contents. What do we got here? Welcome to Riva Exploring, Combat, Magic. Characters, character classes, skills, deities, herbs and poisons, diseases, customer support. It's not color, it's black and white, but it looks like a really detailed manual with a lot of good information about the game. So this is probably something you got to sit down and read for two hours before you can actually play if you want to do a good job. <laughs> but that's what the old games had. This is pretty cool. Oh, what's this? Wear the Cloak of Wizardry. It's an ad for hats and a t-shirt. Wow, there was a Nemesis t-shirt. That's pretty cool. I didn't know about that. I wonder if any of them are still around, floating around somewhere. I guess it's a fold-out. They also had a Wizardry Dragon t-shirt and a Wizardry Logo t-shirt. Wow, very cool. And you can go ahead and order these on the back. And then I have a registration card. Pretty standard for Surtech. Oh, I <laughs> almost forgot. There's a game, too, right? So here's the jewel case for the game. Looks like there's a manual in here, too. There's no back insert, which is always extremely annoying. Yes, it was made in Canada. This is where Surtech was doing a lot of their work. Let me open this up and see what's inside, only because I'm curious what this other manual is, given that we have this giant manual already. Let's see if I can open this thing up. I don't have my regular knife that I usually use here. I couldn't find it. I'll have this giant honking killer knife and see if this one will at least get this started without killing me. No, this seems like a bad idea. I'm probably gonna like, cut my whole hand off. All right, that was that was a poor idea. Let's continue to use my fingers.
what was like the good way to open these things up? I mean, was there supposed to be a, a preferred way? Uh, I guess I'm going to have to speed this up again. Sometimes the jewel cases used to come with like a little strip over here that you just tear open, but it seems those are fairly uncommon. Well, if there was any doubt that this was original wrap, I certainly uh, put that to rest because definitely nobody ever opened the CD before. I wonder if it's even possible to open it. I just tried to use the knife to slice it here, and I just scratched the jewel case and even cut the, the plastic. Come on. If this doesn't open soon, I'm going to turn into the angry video game collector because... Alright. What am I doing wrong here? Oh, wait. Uh, there's a hole here. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Wow, that was so painful. Probably for the viewers even more painful, but actually, I'm not so sure about that. It was pretty painful for me. I really didn't enjoy that. Now he's got something that started. Wow, that was crazy. All right. Finally, what's inside this thing? So we have the CD. It's unblemished. And then it's a ref. Oh, you know, I could have read, if I would have been smart, I could have just read on the bottom here. It says reference card. But it's sort of just like a quick start guide, I guess. How to install basic gameplay elements. The diary just says, all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. That's very interesting. I guess that's it. So it's not really quite a reference card, as it says here. It's more like a reference, quick reference guide or something, but whatever. Anyway, that was way more painful than it needed to be. I hope that you found that interesting. Uh, please hit the like button. Please subscribe. Please tweet this out. Please do whatever you got to do to get this a little more recognition. For others who might enjoy this as well, other geeks and losers like, like, like the rest of us watching these videos. <laughs> And uh, have a great day, everybody.